hello everybody and welcome back to our bbp course for today we are still on undergraduate freshman course 7 of 11 and we have completed market sentiment and today we are going to be discussing about trading the news so let's move to the next uh, lesson that talks about trading the news that's called 7.2 now today the news here we have the subtopics under this section it says news makes the forest market move beginner's guide to forex news trading how to trade forex on news releases two ways to trade the news how to trade the news with a directional bias how to trade the news using the strado trade strategy and summary trading the news so with that let's uh start from the very first one the news makes the forex market to move but you know it's our ritual before we begin any course we always roll the intro so please you are going to roll the intro for us today so roll the intro buddy <laughs> So here we are, the news makes forest market move. Now what are we going to learn under this session? Now it is not enough for us to just know technical analysis before we trade. It is also important for us to know what makes the forest market move. Okay. Now behind those trend lines, behind those double tops and double bottoms, your levels and all that, there is the fundamental force that makes the market to move. And the fundamental force is called the news. It is what makes everything goes up and go down. Let's say, for example, let's say your favorite company, a big company, a mid, let's say a biggest software company which you have invested in, the company is filing for bankruptcy. And you got the news, you had it on the news that the company is going broke, is filing for bankruptcy. What will you do? And you know you have invested in that company. Immediately, all you do is because if the company is going broke, you're going to lose your money. So what do you want to do? You have to withdraw your money, right? So you're going to sell all of your shares in that company, right? What will happen? The shares of the company is going to drop for flat. Exactly. Everybody will also sell off their shares. That's what you know. And that is definitely going to affect the price of the company, the net worth of the company, the value of that currency of that company will definitely drop down it will die down i mean we don't need to explain this so let's say you now had that this company is going to go bankrupt it's filing for bankruptcy like but let's say, let's even say tomorrow and you got a hint of it today what you're going to do you're going to sell off your shares right and you're still going to make a lot of money because you're going to sell it at high value not so so this happens most of the times in fact people get the news of it and in forex trading you it is called fair game but if you do that in trading stores i mean you're gonna go to jail it, it doesn't happen in, tra in store trading and uh, it's called insider trading uh in store trading and somebody did it her name is martha stewart and she went to jail for for it you know see so this is uh martha stewart she blew the, blew the whistle about the company that was going bankrupt she, insider trading and all that and she went to jail for that so the news is what makes the, the, the forest market move that's what we're trying to establish here and uh, everybody small traders big traders husky traders or skinny traders everybody depend on the news okay so we get the same news we analyze it differently anyway and uh, regardless of your technicals the news is a few that keep the forest market going regardless of your technical analysis everything you've known the news is working the forest market going okay so that is what the makes the market forest market move news made the forest market move you have to keep that in mind all the time so let's move to the next lesson beginner's guide to forest news trading so here we are on beginner's guide to forest news trading now as traders it's our job to pay attention to the news okay to measure economic data releases speech from government officials geopolitical event why because this information they reflect the strength of a given economy that may indicate future direction of a given currency so it is important for us to pay attention to news because many a times this is what spurs volatility in the market and volatility that's what follows a lot of trading uh, opportunities so why is it important for us to trade the news it is because uh, 
the news makes the forex market move as we have uh, established okay so news has a potential to make the forex market move and uh, it's important for you to you know pay attention like go to a site like my forex book here you see uh the news for the day every day today is thursday march 18th okay and there was a major news on the 17th and uh it affected prices so watching the news is very yeah important now what are the dangers of trading the news okay it is important for us to pay attention to the news because we know at one point the market will move in a particular direction so your goal as a trader or as a news trader is to get on the correct side of the move now there are dangers associated to trading the news now let's consider some of them widespread now once the news is out or it's about to break uh brokers widen their spread okay and then the spreads can be outrageous for example look at this spread here it changed uh from two pips okay to 20 pips per spread and uh, that's high cost of trading that's not that alone sometimes you get locked out of your trade uh, of the trade right that is to say you'll not be able to make any adjustments once the trade has been taken on the uh, sometimes if you you experience delays while trying to execute your trades as well then not only that you experience a price slippage your trades are not executed at a particular time you want to be executed so it happens all the time let's say for example you, you place a sell here slippage might occur, might occur or there's a gap here and your trades are filled here whereas this is the point where you want to enter the trade but see where your trade got activated here so that's called slippage and it happens during your trade because there's a lot of volatility in the market price is going up and down fluctuating and all that so you not get into the market at the right time or the price in which you decide you wish you want to get into the, the market so it is very very important for you to have a, a plan in place in case things don't work out the way you want it okay especially when we say plan it will not be more than trade management okay manage your trade i mean risk management as well which is also trade uh, management so once you follow this little this uh concept these tips okay you'll be good to go so let's go to the next lesson that says how to trade forex on news releases so here we are on how to trade forex on news releases now before you start planning on how to trade forex on news releases it is important for you to know which news release is even worth trading because not all of them and there are lots of lots of news that comes up every day so so as a trader you have to familiarize yourself with key events that can risk heavily on any currency pay you want to trade and remember that we are trading the news because of its ability to increase volatility in the short term so naturally we would like to trade news that has the best market moving potential for the currency market okay now there are news that actually drives the market and uh, to produce volatility and they usually include one changes in central bank policy which is monetary policy two shifts in government policy that is fiscal policy and then three unexpected results in economic data releases and then four random tweet from a certain world leader who likes to put his name on tall buildings so being aware of the risk of upcoming events will help you to be on the right side of the market so how to find events that produce volatility go to babypips.com and then look for economic calendar so let's just right click say babypips.com and uh economic calendar here we are and once you're here you can now navigate you can use the filter and then to filter out all the pairs you want to trade between major news and high so once you say high news you see how it fits out all of them for you when you say medium news you see how it brings out only the medium news and high news for you okay and then you can also say okay i want to trade the particular currency pair you can take rgbp aud or what have you i think this is pretty simple uh all the pairs don't have this like uh what is it called now uh fx book it has custom what is it how to okay filter and then what else anyway you understand what we're trying to do so come back and uh, later on to do that for yourself 
and so we've done we've just done all of all this now how to filter it and search for economic highs now the news that you should spend your time okay to explore to try to analyze and to read on from any economic calendar okay the uh the news that has to do with changes in interest rates inflation and economic growth uh retail news uh retail sales news manufacturing news and consumer sentiment news okay they are all here so you have uh interest rate decisions by central banks inflation cpi pce ppi on your own do a research on this okay they're very important and then employment data uh, unemployment and wage growth then the gdp of a given country retail sales industrial production business sentiment surveys manufacturing survey se uh, sector surveys consumer confidence housing data sales construction and then lastly trade balance so try and on your own uh, understand all of all these news and what it means and how they can cause volatility in the market now depending on what's currency now depending on what's currently happening in the world the relative importance of this event may change okay this is why it's important for you to stay informed in the market at any given moment like every day go and look at what's happening in the news then you come back you trade uh, plot because the news is fundamentals and it's fundamentals that move the currency prices okay so look at what's happening in the news come back and do your technical analysis okay and uh, just wait to try to be at the right side of the market okay so here we are on pay special attention to news from the u.s why the market reacts to, to different economic news from various countries the biggest movers and the most watched news comes from the u.s why is that so the u.s is still considered the most powerful country in the world whether it is domain military geopolitics social science social science what have you it's even considered as a financial superpower and do you know why that is so it is because the u.s has the largest economy in the world and secondly the u.s dollar is the world's reserve currency do you know what that means US dollar is a world reserve currency. The US dollar is what is being used in carrying out 90% of, of the world's financial transaction. And then uh, that is uh, that gives the US more strength and more power, their economy and also their currency. So it's important for us to look at what comes out from that country. So now let's take a look at some of the most volatile news for the US. Now the most volatile news from the US are NFP news, FOMC and the uh, trade balance cpi retail news so when these news are coming out pay attention okay nfp news fomc trade balance cpi and retail news. so if, let's say you go to your fx book and then uh, you find an nfp news okay that is going to come up tomorrow NFP news is going to come up tomorrow what do you do you quickly read read just read click on the news and it says okay Blah, blah 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 and all that is gonna go up if it does this it's gonna go down if it do if it does that then you go back and do your technicals okay do your technicals so once you've done your technicals then you wait wait for the right time to strike now in addition to geopolitical i mean uh, economic news like that geopolitical news also move volatility like pandemics wars natural disasters political unrest and protest and also upcoming elections i i can tell you very well they are very very volatile they make my markets move as well especially upcoming elections when it comes to geopolitics okay so uh there are times when sentiment in the equity markets will be the precursor to major moves in the currency market what is what we are just reading learning here is that pay attention to news that also comes from the stock market because stock markets they are precursor the news or whatever moves in the stock market they are precursor to whatever happens on the currency market as well okay so pay attention to news from the stock market and how to choose currency pairs to trade the news now doing this is very very important you have to know which currency pair is associated with with whatever news you want to trade so for example let's say nfp is going to come out so if nfp is going to come out you have to watch eu very well watch au very well watch usdjpy okay watch usdchf okay it's very important because the news coming from the us which is usd pairs you just watch all usd pairs because if the usd pair is going to go up if the nfp news is positive okay all usd pairs will, will spike up slippage almost 90 percent of the time okay 
So these are all the major currency pairs. Now remember, because we have most liquidity pairs, the pairs usually have the tightest spreads. Now since spreads, why the one news reports come out, it makes sense to stick with those pairs that have the tightest spreads to begin with. So now that we have known which news events and which currency pairs we have to trade, it is now important for us to take a look at two ways to trade the news. So here we are on two ways to trade the news. Now there are actually two ways to trade the news as we have just read from BBPs. One is having a directional bias and then the second one is a non-directional bias. Now what is a directional bias? Directional bias is when you have or you expect the price of a currency to go in a particular direction. It is either up or down. So when the news is coming up and people who trade with directional bias, they listen to a forex news analyst and they try to take their trading decision based on how that forex uh, analyst has analyzed that news. Okay and then they take their trade so that's the direction of bias now we have consensus versus actual when forex news analysts come together they try to carve out an idea and say okay this is how it should be based on what the government has released or based on what data we have okay it should be like this so they come up with a general agreement i mean news analysts now financial institutional traders uh, experts and all that so they come up they come up with certain figures now those figures they come up with based on past uh, history and so on is called consensus the actual number is the data that is being released or the report the actual report that is being released earlier we learned about this and we also said that sometimes even the actual of this month when next month is going to come up again the the one of this month will be revised and it will appear or reflect in the one of the coming months so that is the difference between consensus and actual number consensus is just a general idea that is being forecasted the actual is the actual number or actual data reported now buy the rumor sell the news so in buying the rumor sell the news this is a common phrase used by forex market traders because oftentimes it seems that the news report is when the news report is released the movement doesn't match the reports okay so so for example, let's say the US unemployment rate is expected to increase from unemployment rate of 8.8% and the consensus for this upcoming month will be, you know, 9.0 uh, reported as a consensus. Now with a consensus of 9.0, it means that the economy is weak, okay? And uh, there are lots of unemployment people, unemployed people in the, in the economy and the, the US dollar will become weak. So the big players in the market will change their position is okay so as to reflect what the consensus will do okay and they will go of selling of their us dollar for other currencies before the actual number is released now let's say the actual number uh, the actual unemployment rate is released and as expected it reports nine percent as a retail trader you see this you go off to the chart to try to sell your dollar however when you go to your trading platform you notice that the us dollar is not going in the direction that you thought it would you wanted to go and sell but you look what is happening the market is not going in the direction of the sell why is that happening this is because the big players in the market have already adjusted their positions way before the news report even came out and uh, they are not even taking profits on the news okay so let's revisit the example again but this time let's say suppose the unemployment rate is eight percent now the market players thought the unemployment rate will rise to nine point zero percent okay nine percent because of the consensus but instead the report showed that it actually decreased showing the dollar is positive it's strong okay so what you see on your chart will be huge rally to the top side before you get to the chart the price will have kicked off okay to the top side now that the report is released and it's something totally different from what has been anticipated they are all trying to adjust their position as fast as possible and this will happen this will happen also if the actual report that was released the unemployment rate is also is 10 percent now the only difference would be that instead of the dollar rallying up it will drop okay that is if the report is 10 percent now since the market consensus was nine percent but the actual report showed a bigger 10 percent unemployment rate the big players in the market will sell off their dollars because the us dollar looks weak according to the forecast that was released so it is important to keep track of market consensus and the actual numbers so you can better gauge 
which news reports will actually cause the market to move and in what direction so here is what we are learning let us open these filters and everything here so we have consensus here consensus this is actual this is previous okay so let's go to that of bb peeps where is she um okay let's just go to bb peeps direct from the beginning calendar here's calendar and uh we now go to load up calendar load up yeah economic calendar here it is so we have actual we have forecast and we have previous now here forecast stands for the consensus so you use all of all these add them to your trading toolbox and uh, execute 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 so let's go back to our non uh to which to trade the news now here we are on non-directional bias now people who employ this trading strategy or so to say they they don't take any direction they know that when the news is out the market is going to spike volatility will be there and it's going to be in either up or down for those who employ the non-directional bias trading trading mindset or attitude or approach rather those who employ the non-directional bias approach they just wait for the market to settle down for the market if the price if volatility is going to spike up or spike down okay they are allowed for it to happen and once it is down the market is not trend in the particular direction that it also go and so that is when they enter the trade so that's where they get the name from non-directional bias they just stay out of the news they don't trade the news okay so let's now move to the next lesson that says how to trade the news with a directional bias so here we are on how to trade the news with a directional bias now let's say so earlier we used examples of unemployment rates let's imagine that the unemployment report that came up showed improvement in the u.s economy the number dropped instead of rising up so you would expect the u.s dollar to be rising up but now you go to your chart and you looked at your chart the u.s dollar is still dropping what why is it still dropping the unemployment showed that the number of people who have jobs is now improving because the number dropped according to the report so if the number dropped it means that more people had jobs if the number is rising it means that more people are without jobs so what could be the reason why the dollar is dropping why the unemployment report came out better now let's uh, let's discuss one of the, the very first reason the very first reason is the overall economic outlook still poor now the unemployment rate is not the only fundamental factor that plays into an economy's strength or weakness there are other factors okay so it is not just the unemployment rate alone so th there are other catalysts that big traders or financial institutions look at that helps them to make their decisions when buying or selling a currency so don't bank on unemployment rates alone that's the first reason the overall economic outlook the second reason is that unemployment figures numbers are temporary now what this means is that sometimes uh, employers might employ large number of people just to be able to offset a particular task or execute a particular task at a particular period of time so let's say it's christmas period people are buying lots of products or products or shopping doing a lot of shopping because of the the season okay so what employers do is that they employ lots of people because of the demand for their product they employ lots of people to be able to meet demand of you know selling of their products as quick as possible to reach their consumers and now once that period is over what happens they let go of those employers so they are called seasonal employers so they, they employ them for that particular season okay so one important thing to remember is to always take a step back and look at the overall picture before making a quick trading decision when it comes to uh, when it comes to news report okay look at the overall picture and try to compare before now report and the now report what is the you know the difference then next is how to trade the news with a directional bias now the first thing you want to do 
before the report comes out is to take a look at the trend of the unemployment report because we are using unemployment report for our case study as our case study okay is the number increasing from previous history or it is decreasing now if you look at the unemployment report and you go back six 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 months in time and you saw that six months ago the unemployment report was just one percent and now for the last month it has stopped out to three percent that is telling you that the, uh, the number of people who are unemployed in the country they are increasing the number is steadily increasing you could now say with confidence to yourself well the number has been increasing okay so it is expected that the figure will also increase okay so you now form a directional buyer so if the number is increasing it means that the us dollar or the us economy is weak based on the figures you have so if it is weak then you want to short the us dollar now against what are you going to short the us dollar so you might want to short the us dollar against the us gpy because people traders who buy the us dollar they also buy the japanese yen because the hedge with it right we learned that in the last lesson if you don't remember go back to the last lesson and do a review now so you might want to short the us the jpy now before you short the us jpy you want to look at the price movement of this pair for at for at least 20 minutes prior and find the average range of movement look at this pair 20 minutes before before the news will be released and find the average range of price average move price movement okay find the range now when you get that you know look for your tops your the breakout points from the top or from the bottom okay now since you have a bearish bias on this your breakout point will definitely be at the bottom okay so here is your breakout point for the bottom and here is your breakout point for the top now you have been analyzing this pair and you are seeing that it's trying to come to come down to the downside so where will your entry be your entry will be few pips below the breakout point okay because you have a bearish directional bias so you place your entry here and you place your target within the range that the price has been moving for the past 20 to 30 minutes or even one hour pick that range also as your target now one of two things could happen if the unemployment rate data that is released okay drops price will draw, go up if the, the if, if the report drops now the drop in the report will show that the the, the number of people who are un unemployed the number is reducing the economy is now stronger so what will happen to usjpy usjpy will rise okay and now if usjpy rises up because our entry is below the breakout point look at the breakout point here look at our entry this trade will not be triggered so no foul no harm nothing wrong we're good now the second thing that can happen is this if as we have expected the unemployment rate rises the dollar could drop now assuming that the entire fundamental outlook on the dollar is already bearish so what will happen this will happen our trade will be triggered the unemployment rate rises the economy or the overall fundamental outlook is is weak the tree our breakout point is smashed trade is triggered our target is smashed as well and we are in profit and out of the market so you see that with this idea you have grabbed a handful of pips so the key to having a directional bias is that you must truly understand the concept behind the news report that you plan to trade if you don't understand what effect it can have on a particular currency pair then you might get caught up in some bad setups which you want, you don't want to become involved with so try to understand the concept behind the news report that is why it is good for you to read it read it click on it and read it export of goods and services released by japan customs consists of transactions of good goods and services says better and understand it and then go plan your trade and execute 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 
next lesson we are going to learn is how to trade the news using the straddle trade strategy so here we are how to trade the news using the straddle trade strategy now to use this strategy okay it is important for you to pick news that has lot of volatility and this news can be the economic data of a given country or the news from a central bank of a particular country now the first thing to consider is which news reports to trade and we have discussed them just now news from central banks or economic data like nfp fomc from the us and many more okay if you want to you can go back click on which news reports are worthy of your trade okay then the next thing to do is to look at the range at least 20 minutes before the actual news is released look at the range price has been going on or going off or bouncing off up and down 20 minutes before the news is released then pick the breakout levels take note of the breakout point okay and then let's execute practically so here we have uh, a chart as our example here this is where price has been bouncing off within the last 20 minutes so we have a breakout point here here's a breakout point okay now this is the range of the breakout point because this candle touched this le level here before bouncing back up so let's do this again here is our breakout point oh my goodness this is not beautiful okay we have a breakout point here and we have another level to the bottom side the range remember the range picking our range right now and now we're going to determine breakout point if it is going to break to the top side okay it should be above these highs here and so your entry should be here okay and if it's not going to break to the top side your entry should be here so what you are going to do if you are to use this strategy is this place to buy or sell stop entries here buy stop let's write b s or let's just write it in full b u y buy stop okay a buy stop order okay and here you place a sell stop order okay here and then for take profit for the sell stop order is here the same range with this same range and then for the buy stop the same range with this the uh, area of price action for the past 20 minutes that's where your tp want to be so you place these two trades these two uh orders and let it, the trade just right on oh no. let the trade play out if the news now comes out 20 minutes later okay one of two things can happen price can come back can come down take your entry um, and price can come down hit your entry and smash your tp or price can go up, hit your entry, smash your TP. Or price can go up, fill you in, okay, come back, smash your stop loss, go down, fill you in here, and then come and smash your TP. Now, we prefer the price should do one of two things, okay? Just hit our entry and smash our target. If it doesn't do that, if you do one of these two, Come here, fill you in, come back down, smash your top stop loss, then come and fill you in and smash your stop uh, your take your target, take profit. Either way is good. That is the straddle uh, trade strategy. Okay. Now this strategy it eliminates uh, any emotions because it is a non-directional bias approach, and that makes it attractive. So this allows you to take advantage of more trading opportunities because. You will be triggered either way now there are many other tr uh, news trading strategies but have this concept at the back of your mind that is what baby pips is teaching us we are all learning together my friends so let's move to the next lesson that says summary trading the news so here we are on summary trading the news here are some other things to keep in mind when trading the news my friends one when you have a directional bias you are expecting price to move a certain direction and you've got your orders 
in already okay now two it is always good to understand the underlying reasons why the market moves in a certain directional direction when news is released okay then three when you have a non-directional bias you don't care don't care which way price heads you just want to get triggered okay and four setups for the non-directional bias are also called straddle trades they are pretty much right mm -mm, no you have to practice and trade many different reports before you get a feel for one which news report will make the market move two how much of a surprise is needed for the market to move three which reports to avoid trading so like any other trading method success on trading in news depends on your preparation so take the time to study practice do your homework look at the economic indicators to understand why they are important and remember nothing worth having comes easy so stick with it and you'll find that trading in news will be very rewarding once you get the hang of it with that congratulations you have completed 7.2 that talks about trading the news the next is 7.3 carry trade so my friends if you enjoy what we have been doing so far please turn on your notifications okay smash the like button for me subscribe if you haven't and until next time i wish you success in trading the news